2020, the year of the nurse. Nurses are professionally trained to care for the sick and promote healthy living. Throughout history, they have been at the forefront of medical disasters. Often, there aren't enough nurses at hospitals, so providing proper care is very difficult. Today, nurses also work in schools, businesses, prisons, and almost anywhere medical care is needed. In some regions, nurses are the only health care workers available. Across the ages, nurses have left the safety of their homes to go and help others. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Language Lab. I'm Jack. 我们今天要看的第一个字是 disaster. Disaster 的意思是灾难。来看例句 There is a shortage of medical supplies in the disaster zone. 灾区里的医疗用品有短缺。或是 That poor town was first hit by a natural disaster, followed by a man-made disaster. 那座可怜的小镇先是遇到了天灾，然后接着是人祸。Disaster 也可以用来指一件事情很糟糕或是很失败。例如 ，I had expected the wedding to be a disaster, but it turned out fine. 我原以为那场婚礼会很糟糕，结果最后还是蛮好的。好，接下来我们来看下一个字 ，available。available 是一个形容词，在文章里 ，available 的意思是可获得的、可用的。例如 ，Are there any magazines available for the guests to look at while they wait in the lounge？ 客人在等候室里时，有没有一些杂志可以提供给他们翻阅呢 ？available 也可以指有时间或是有空的。例如 ，I'm sorry。But the doctor is not available right now. 很抱歉，但是医生现在没有空。或是 Priscilla is very busy these days, but she did say she would be available this weekend. Priscilla 最近很忙，但是她有说她这个周末会有空。Hello and welcome to InfoCloud. Hey, Emery, have you ever had a pet? I have had a lot of pets. But I remember one time my siblings and I found a baby bird outside. It had a broken wing. Oh no! What did you do? We brought it inside and nursed it back to health. Oh, that is so sweet. But Emery, what do you mean when you say you nursed it back to health? Are you a nurse? No, I'm not a nurse. A nurse is someone who takes care of sick people. So, if we nurse someone or something back to health, we also give them special care and attention. Another way we can say this is to nurse someone or something along. Yes, in this phrase, we put the pronoun in between nurse and along, and it has the idea of accompanying someone while they return to full health. We can also use nurse something along for other things like a project or idea that is in danger of failing. This government money is meant to nurse struggling companies along during the recession. In that sentence, we have a noun phrase: struggling companies in between nurse and along. We nurse something along to make sure it is successful. 今天要跟大家介绍两个跟 nurse 有关的用语。首先 ，nurse 是护理师，当做动词是护理的意思。当你 nurse someone back to health， 那就代表你照顾某人，直到他恢复健康。She nursed the sick dog back to health。她照顾和护理那只生病的狗，直到它恢复健康。另外，你也可以用 nurse something along 来。表达关切某件事情，直到步上轨道。例如 ，The government is nursing the struggling companies along. 政府正在照顾那些挣扎求生的企业。2020, the year of the nurse. During the coronavirus scare, many nurses volunteer to go and help in high-risk areas. Yet, as in the past. They haven't always received enough credit for their work. 
The WHO hopes to right that wrong as they honor nurses this year. They will host many events which will hopefully raise appreciation for nurses around the world. This year, as we honor our modern day nurse heroes, we also remember Florence Nightingale. 200 years later, she still serves as a symbol of the importance and value of nursing. 接下来我们要看的字是 scare. Scare 这个动词是让人感到害怕的意思。例如说 ，Don't scare me， 不要吓我。但是在文章里 ，scare 是一个名词，意思是恐慌。例如 ，When Edna heard the rumor, it gave her quite a scare. Edna 一听到谣言就是被吓坏了。或是 ，We heard about a bomb scare in the evening news. 我们从晚间新闻听到有炸弹恐慌。还有一句 ，Gilbert had a brief scare when he thought he had misplaced his wallet. 当 Gilbert 因为他弄丢了他的皮夹时，又被吓到。最后我们要看的字是名词 credit。在文章里 ，credit 的意思是赞许。例如 ，I don't think you're giving Jenny enough credit for all the wonderful work she's done. 我不认为你给 Jenny 足够的赞许，她可是做了那么多很棒的事。Credit 也可以指信用贷款或是赊账。例如 ，It is possible to buy a car on credit, but would you be able to make the monthly payments? 要靠信用贷款买车是可行的，但是你确定你有能力每个月付款吗？我们也可以用 credit 来指学分。例如 ，Marcus is earning twelve credits this semester. Marcus 这个学期要修十二个学分。Okay, let's get back to our teachers. Let's go to the city where East meets West. Let's go to Istanbul and Turkey. I hope you're ready to write some things down because one SC travel is just not enough for Istanbul. Now let's start with the architecture. The Hagia Sophia is without a doubt the most famous building in all of Turkey. The name itself means Holy Wisdom, which is a reference to Jesus. But through the years. It has been a Christian church, a Muslim mosque, and a museum. Istanbul connects Europe and Asia, and nothing reflects that better than the Bosphorus Bridge, built in 1973, which links both sides of this grand city. Now, you will not be disappointed by Turkish food. Of course, they're most famous for their doner kebabs, but you should do what singer Shakira says and try everything. Like the kadın budu kofte, a kind of tasty meatball dish, and of course Turkish delight, their famous bite-sized dessert. The pistachio-flavored ones are the local favorite. And where might you find Turkish delight and other delightful things? At the Grand Bazaar. This place is great to walk through, even if you absolutely hate shopping. Walking around in Istanbul will be exciting, but. If you get tired, just find a place to sit, because Istanbul is perfect for people watching. That's just when you spend time observing people in a public space. The variety of people's fashions and mannerisms here is sure to give you some free and relaxing entertainment. And speaking of people, Turks are known for their hospitality, as is reflected in the proverb, "Every guest is a gift from God." Well, there's so much more we could say about incredible Istanbul, but it's time for me to go enjoy a relaxing Turkish bath. Oh, I forgot to tell you about that. Ah, well, see you next time.